continuing story of Peyton Place. Starring Dorothy Malone as Constance McKenzie, Warner Anderson as Matthew Swain, Ed Nelson as Michael Rodney, Mia Farrow as Allison McKenzie, Ryan O'Neill as Rodney Harrington, and Barbara Parkins as Betty Anderson. of ambition can be costly, whether it be in friendship, in dignity, or in self-respect. But Rita Jacks, ambitious for a new way of life, is totally unaware of what the cost will be to her and to everyone around her. on the bus, Rita. You're gone and I'm back. That looks like it's gonna rain. Well, I'm walking home. Get yourself wet. Now, come on, I'll drive you. No. What's the matter, honey? Leave me alone, Joe. Hey, listen, I've been away a long time. Stay away. What, from you? Come on, let's go. I said, come on. I said, let her go. Get in the car. Come on, Joe. You do it, Joe. Harold, who's a hero? I'll tell you later. Come on, let's get out of here. I'll see you around, Rita. So you'll be there, you hear? Coffee or something? No, thanks. Who are you calling? I'm calling the police. Police? And then your mother. Well, don't call anyone, please. I know it's not going to be pleasant. Well, don't call anyone. But I've got their license number. Well, I know them. Look, I don't want to start trouble. Well, they were trying to start it for you, weren't they? They won't. You said so. They won't if you let them stop them. How? They're calling the police. What will you say to them? I, I mean... But you didn't want to go with them, did you? No. Well, then. They know me. I'm scared. See, I'm trying to... Oh, look. Rita, if, if you let me call the police, even these boys will know. No. Well, I'm going to call anyway. Well, I won't say anything, and they'll deny it. It could happen to someone else, Rita, the next time. You're thinking of Allison. Allison and some other girl. Yeah, some nice girl. I'm not Allison. Nice girl? Who 
said that. Rita Jacks. Rita Jacks doesn't know what she's talking about. Allison's a lucky girl. Thanks. You know, you're honest. Most people, they would have said, what do you mean? You knew what I meant. You said thanks. So let me explain about Joe and Earl. I'm not protecting them. It's Norman. Norman? Norman Harrington. He was like you. He jumps in. Well, if you'd come with me to the police. They'll give Joe and Earl a warning. That's all they can do. After all, they didn't hurt me. And then Norman will find out. Just this morning, uh, he told Joe that you'd kill him. Oh, well, he's... He's just talking. Please, Mr. Carson. Rita, something has to be done by someone. Mr. Carson. Cars outside. Come on. I'll take you home. Sorry I'm bothering you. Maybe I had to wait out front on the street. Wait here. You're not bothering me. It's going to be slow tonight with a storm coming up. Stick around, Norman. But 15 minutes ago, you said she'd be back in 15 minutes. Don't be so impatient. Give her a few more minutes. The wind's so hot and muggy tonight, I'd make you some lemonade. Thanks. How's your brother, Norman? Fine. Look, did you say she was going to get some books or return some? Get. I told her I'd get her any books she wanted from the library. You know, lately, Rita's been a pretty responsible young lady. Independent, but responsible. Are you knocking it? No. You're just not wild about it. <laughs> Gotta take time getting used to, that's all. You know, somebody told me that Norman Harrington would be wearing out my living room carpet while my Rita was knocking her brains out at the library. I'd have... Well, I'd be surprised. What's going on lately? You ought to get to know your daughter. I mean, what she's been doing lately. Lately, I haven't got any classes. Lately, I've been shining my shoes. And lately, it's... All this talking's made me dry. How do you like your lemonade? With sugar or without? With, please. Well, hello, everybody. Hi, Norman. What's the matter, Rita? Nothing. She came out of that library doing about 60 miles an hour and almost knocked me right into the bay. I was on my way over here to get a little fortification for the upcoming storm, so I escorted her here and uh, made her tell me what book she was reading in the library to give her so much energy. What's bothering you, Rita? I told you, nothing. I think she probably feels a little uncomfortable about having an old guy like me escort her home. Rita. No, I'm just scared of the thunder, that's all. It's always scared me to death. Right, Mom? That's right. Uh, they cry and cry and, and even hide in the closet. Well, then why didn't you say so? Sounds so silly. Well, you didn't sell me a drink, or aren't you? You got the cash or just the thirst? Well, it 
looks like I'm going to be your one and only customer tonight. What happened to Rita? Nothing, really. She stepped off a curb and the car almost hit her. I know my Rita. Cars don't make her nervous, but it hurt her. Thunder doesn't either. All right. There's a couple of wild kids. I've never seen them before, but they knew Rita. Their names were Earl and Joe. Why didn't you wait for him? You told me I had to get used to using the library myself. So I did. What was so important at the library that you had to go get? The Art of English Composition. The book you told me I should read. The next time, wait for me. Can you sit by me, please? what would have happened if he hadn't stopped her. That Joe Chernak is trouble. He's got a long record of trouble. Uh, he's a wise kid. I think he can be handled. Only if he's put away. I know the type. They don't stop. Hadn't been the greatest mother that ever drew breath, but Rita was just beginning to straighten out. Norman's a good influence on her. And now that Joe Chernak. Where does he hang out? No. Well, I can find out. Save me some time and gas looking in the wrong places. I love the thought. But why should you get yourself involved? The last time, trying to help George Anderson, you just got yourself shot. Family characteristic. I just can't help myself. Okay. It's a roadside joint called the Blue Spot. A couple of miles out on the Boston. I love going places with you and being with you so much. But if you spend all your free time with me, when do you study? I'll worry about that. Oh, I'm no good for you if all I do is make you worry. I can take care of myself. And you. Now let's see how well you know the normative case. I remember when I was a kid, there was always a storm. 